Alright, so uh, this trick here is pretty annoying. Uh, the Tektite hover is definitely the hardest part. Um, just because it's really hard to get into a position that will actually uh, get you up there. And the Tektites can be a little troll. Sometimes uh, it's just annoying to get to move them around and get them up here. And if you screw up, then like you got a long, t long time to set it up again, like a minute and a half to lure them up here. Uh, I like to get the Tektite hover kind of just with 90 degrees from that angle to the wall to your left there, and then just kind of line up with this pole here, just so that you've got like some more space to move up a little bit when you side hop uh, to the left a bit, just because it's really easy to backflip over the wall, and if you're way back in the corner, it's like sometimes they don't hit you properly, so... Uh, sorry about my phone going off there. Um, so basically, once you've kind of gotten like a bit more height <coughs> in, in this corner here, and then you can get your final backflip there if you're lucky you get up here. That's the hard part done. Um, you want ISG for this part, but if you don't have it, you can always, uh, or like you lose it to rocks or whatever, you can always run up to the uh, Skulltula at the end of the uh, rock dropping part there uh, on the wall. Um, you can either line up with that other wall that I did to get this angle or you can just kind of go up to the corner and use um, up targeting but I like that method more. Um, ideally you want to not lose ISG here because then you can go to the left to there which is a little quicker but also more dangerous because the rocks will spawn and can knock you off if you're slow going around there. So uh, this is the safe way, especially if you don't have ISG. And then uh, you will need ISG for the next part, so if you don't have it, you'll have to do what I do here and just go and get it off of one of the Skulltulas. Uh, it helps if you're not bad like me either. I need to get it twice. We'll go for it twice. Uh, once you've got it, there's just kind of one part left. It's not really tricky. It's just kind of easy to screw up if you go too fast. Um, so basically, you just go around here till you get to the uh, one like side here where you can kind of see. Uh, like that chunk missing from the top, that like square chunk there, and then you go beside this like dark texture here, like to the point on it, with like your foot, like just kind of like even with it as far uh, as you can go there, and then you just uh, turn around there, and then you kind of want to line your B button up like right, so both sides kind of touch that rock thingy in the distance there, and then just uh, hit B to drop, and then make sure you wait a bit before you jump slash and hold forward, otherwise you're not going to get it. Um, if you do screw it up and you go early, you can always like keep holding Z and just slowly back walk off till you fall again and then jump slash, but it is harder. But uh, that's how you can can get it there. Uh, definitely, Tektite hover is the hard part. Once you've done, done that, then uh, you're pretty much gold and the rest isn't too difficult but you can't get knocked off by rocks every now and again which sucks so yeah hopefully someone finds a better way than that because the tektite stuff there is really troll like it probably take you like five or ten tries at least um especially because sometimes it'll just like not hit you in the corner there when you go to backflip or whatever or you're just not quite high enough to make that ledge, um, you know, stuff like that. Also, sometimes you just lose ISG, but it's not too bad to, to get it again, and there's hearts in the rocks there, so the worst thing that can happen is that you, one of them, like, takes damage and dies. But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.